Oh, hey, I almost forgot. Something you need to do, very important. See that share button down there? You need to click the share button to this video and share this video to whomever you think might be buying for you for either Christmas or your birthday because these gift ideas are top notch for the fly fisher. All right, let's do this. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about gift giving ideas for the fly fisher person in your life. The goal of this video today is to give you some great gift ideas, whether it's for Christmas or for a birthday, this video is gonna give you every single item that I'd love to find either in a wrapped box or in my stocking. All right, let's talk about a few things. So the first thing we're gonna cover, especially since Christmas is right around the corner, is we're gonna talk about some great stocking stuffer ideas. So let's get right into it. Tapered leaders, everyone needs tapered leaders and go for all the sizes, 3X, 4X, 5X, three pack, stuff some of those tapered leaders in that stocking. Rolls of tippet in the same sizes, forceps with cutters. Now forceps are pointless without the cutters, so please get the forceps with the cutters the person in your life will love that. Floatant is always nice to have a ton of floatant in your bag. Dry shake, every fly fisher needs dry shake if they're gonna be fishing these small dries. A nail knot tool, it's really great to have this nail knot tool just in case you do need to tie a nail knot on. A lot of times it's loop to loop, but still, it's nice to have in your bag. Now, I do not condone smoking, it's bad for oh, yeah. you. But anyway, if you do have somebody that loves to partake in a cigar, get them a cigar holder. There's lots of great portable cigar holders that'll fit in your gear bag. And with that, you're gonna need a lighter and get a lighter that's good in elevation and a cutter for that cigar as well. Indicators, we all need different indicators. And yes, that is a fancy word for bobbers. A lanyard for the net. I found out the hard way that if you don't have a lanyard on your net and you drop it in a river, that net is gone. You'll never see it again. So get a lanyard, one of those stretchy kinds. Sink tips, they're always nice to have in your in your bag. They'll love them. A spotting scope, I know that seems strange, but when you're out on the lake and you see something way off the distance, it's so cool to be able to grab the spotting scope out of your gear bag and take a look at it. So that's a good gift idea. Polarized sunglasses, we're all gonna lose our main pair, so it's nice to have a backup. A lanyard for those glasses. Travel sunscreen, SPF lip balm, a small first aid kit just in case you get hooked or you need some ibuprofen. A microfiber cloth, because you never know when you're gonna need it to either dry off a really wet fly or your glasses. And finally, and one of the most important gifts to put in that stocking stuffer is a line straightener. No, don't do that. It's horrible. So let's talk about some bigger gift ideas. Some of the things that you might have to wrap. A rod and reel travel case. Every fly fisher person needs to have this to protect their investment. Perhaps it's a new gear bag. Maybe it's time to level up and get something a little nicer like a Sims bag. A sling pack or a fly vest? Sling pack, that's the way to go. A dry bag, I think it's important to have a dry bag to keep all your stuff dry, especially if you're on a pontoon boat, a boat, or just, you know, something to stuff your stuff in. A fishing net, you can get either a nice really custom wood fishing net or you can get something that's fiberglass or even better yet, carbon fiber. Waders and boots, sometimes those are more of a personal item that is best tried on, but you know, Sims waders have always been really good to me. So if you know that person's size, that might be an idea. And, and or if you know the size of their feet, because you'll need to know that for a wading boot and generally you size up one size when, when choosing wading boots. Corkers, Sims are all really good wading boots. How about a gift card to the local fly shop? It's always great to support those guys, especially around this time of year. A cool thing my wife got once for me was a bag for my wading boots. I thought I wasn't gonna use it, but I use it all the time because it keeps all the crap out of the trunk of my car and the back of my rig. More fly boxes. If you fly fish, you know you cannot have enough fly boxes. So fly boxes are great. And I kind of like the double-sided waterproof ones as well. A Yeti beverage cooler. I like to call those my boat soda container. A small soft-sided lunchbox is always nice to have, whether you're in a pontoon boat, a float tube, or just taking along in the vehicle with you while you're fishing. All right, it's now big gift time. So what are some big gift ideas for that person that loves to fly fish? How about one of these boats? There's a few here that have for sale signs in them. <laughs> Yeah, I know that's not realistic. So there's some great pontoon boats or float tubes, right? If somebody in your life that you know that wants to start fishing rivers fish and have on. a little more access or lakes, <laughs> a float tube or a pontoon boat are a great gift idea. And you're gonna need fins. A nice gift idea is a fly rod. 
and I prefer four piece rods because they're more travel friendly. Every fly fisher should have an eight weight, a five or a six weight, and a three weight in their arsenal. So if the person that you know doesn't have one of those, that might be a great big gift idea. And along with that is a reel. And by the way, one of my favorite fly rods are Sage fly rods. There's a lot of other great fly rods out there, whether it's from Orvis or from Winston, St. Croix, they all make good fly rods. I prefer Sage because they stand behind their products. Same with a reel, get that person a new fly reel. And kind of a cool bonus, have the fly shop put the backing and the floating line on that reel so it's ready to go. Ross makes some great reels, Sage makes great wheels, and so does Orvis. How about an electric motor for that pontoon boat? That'd be a cool gift idea. Needs a battery though. I'm not sure if getting somebody a battery is a great idea. A GoPro. If you have any aspiring YouTubers out there, a GoPro is nice to have and make sure you pick up some extra batteries. And then if we're gonna level up from there, how about a drone? There's some great drones, real small drones that are easy to pack just to get that, that cool shot from above. And if you have somebody that just maybe, they're not necessarily a YouTuber, just wanna capture the moment in film, a drone is always really nice to have. I hope to get one myself for Christmas. All right, well, I hope this tutorial helps you with gift ideas for that very important person in your life. And Merry Christmas or Happy Birthday or whatever the occasion is, I wish you well. All right, see you guys later. Fish on.